We meet again. Shout out to the venue man of the hook. I'd like to dedicate this to people who suffer from Parkinson's. Muhammad Ali, Michael J. Fox, Sabah Dervani, and uh, last but not least, to Art, as always. Well, in recent times, she has been barking since, parking since, park it since, in between my skin, covered art it seems, my mind has turned into one of those strange, barkless pine trees, and when she claws trying to mark her territory, all I feel is not pain, but a heart. A fragile sort of delicate garment now worn at the seams, easily torn. When I shake, her emotions are stirred. Of course I know that the earth stands perfectly still. When I am drunk, I am the moving earthquake, measuring five on the Richter scale. Stage four of this dis-ease as a bit of a bitter stale taste. I am now a magical moving mountain, too steep to scale. But she keeps pressing on and pressing on in pressions on my sad life came and when depression left she would be the one that stayed on my tongue tied it was a ribbon of tears around one who once was blind but now now i sit and reminisce about the days when i could easily tie my son's shoelaces turning bright meat without lifting my head to see worried looks on people's faces brushing my four-year-old's teeth without using his gummies having a meal quietly instead of turning my plate into one of those one of those, one of those snare drums, shaping my woman's papaya without licking her skin, opting for styrofoam cups where the wine glass should have been. But now it seems breaks are few and far between our cracking walls and stability remains in memory. Because I remember the time when we had settled down. Speaking in whispers low enough to hear the bricks in our walls exchanging rumors of the previous night's events. And back then, her temple was like a stable structure, explored with the most careful of touches. During our lovemaking, she was like a beautiful, certified buildings inspector, testing how stable my beams were, like she were looking to park her love safely between my skin and bones. She was a beautiful child, at times jumping on the shaky grounds of our relationship with Sunshine spilling out of our pockets, my socket soaking up what little radiance slipped out from time to time. But it seems she'd only signed up for the health years, though. Not the second one we put in the fine print of our marriage contract. It seems that forever was a beautiful ideal, yet hard to live. She couldn't take the shaky earthquake, so something had to give. So now, now I'm living in light of this dark spin king to Parkinson's where broken telephone is Parkinson's between the sharks, will and fins where darts and pins are felt by my heart and shins. Fishing across the sky for clovers, hoping to find peace within my skin covered arc missing its most treasured tenant, her, my mantra and the sort of stillness she inspired. Thank you.